This video is an overview of camshaft position sensor testing using an oscilloscope and a BMW scan tool on a BMW 3 Series E46 2001-2005 M54 engine. Remember to work safe and work smart. Work in a well-ventilated area, protect yourself from injury at all times, and attempt all work at your own risk. Before beginning, consult your owner's manual or the appropriate repair manual for your vehicle. The subject vehicle in the following video exhibited the following symptoms. The check engine light was on with stored fault codes. It was a hard start problem and it would occasionally stall while starting. Using a BMW scan tool, access the DME fault memory. The vehicle had the following fault codes stored, P0340, Inlet Camshaft Position Sensor Fault. There were other fault codes stored in the DME, but we're going to ignore those for now. After reviewing the fault codes, I decided to clear the fault memory and attempt to start the vehicle. While attempting to start the vehicle, the hard starting problem was present. With the engine running and using a BMW scan tool, I'm going to monitor the Vanos data stream under Diagnosis Requests. While raising and lowering the engine RPM, I expect to see the camshaft angle change. If it does not change, that indicates there could be a fault with the camshaft position sensor. There was no change in camshaft angle on the data stream, so I'm just going to go view engine RPM data stream and repeat the test just to confirm that the scan tool is getting live data. And as you can see, engine RPM was changing. Next I go back into the Vanos data stream and confirm there is no camshaft angle change, which there was not. While raising and lowering the engine and monitoring camshaft angle, the engine stalled. Let's go back and see if there's any fault codes. Earlier we cleared our fault codes so there should be none stored, but you can see the PO340 inlet camshaft sensor fault has returned. We've done all the testing we can using a BMW scan tool. In order to complete our diagnosis, we're going to have to test the intake camshaft position sensor at the component level. In order to access the electrical connector, Remove the intake air housing, disconnect the electrical connector, remove electrical connector from mounting bracket, peel back connector sealing boot on sensor side of harness. Once the sealing boot is peeled back, we're going to insert our test leads from our oscilloscope. We're going to insert channel 2 of our oscilloscope into terminal 1 of the camshaft sensor electrical connector. Pin 1 is the battery positive supply to the sensor. Next we're going to insert channel 1 of our oscilloscope into terminal 2 of the camshaft position sensor. This is the sensor signal to the DME. Once both oscilloscope test leads are installed in the camshaft position sensor electrical connector, I'll secure them in place using electrical tape to prevent them from falling out during testing. I will then reconnect the electrical connector. Next, install the intake air housing so I could run the vehicle for testing. Let's start the vehicle and see what the signal on our oscilloscope looks like. The 
The green trace, or channel 2 of our lab scope, is connected to pin 1 of the camshaft sensor. That's the battery voltage supply for the sensor, and we have battery volts on the oscilloscope, so that's normal. The yellow trace, or channel 1 of our oscilloscope, is connected to pin 2 of the camshaft sensor electrical connector. That's our sensor signal to the DME, and it should be a 0 to 5 volt square wave, or digital signal. We have a steady 5 volt signal and no change, so that's telling me the signal is not present. The final step is to test terminal 3 of the camshaft position sensor, which is the sensor ground. Using a digital multimeter, I backprobe the sensor, and I should read around 0 volts. I do have that reading, so that tells me that the sensor ground is good. The camshaft position sensor in this vehicle turned out to be faulty. After replacing it, I like to go back with my test equipment and recheck my signals and confirm they're good. With my oscilloscope still connected, let's start the engine and see what our signal looks like. The green trace, or channel 2, is displaying battery volts, which is normal. The yellow trace, or channel 1, is displaying a 0 to 5 volt square wave, which is also normal. Back to the BMW scan tool, we're going to view Vanos camshift angle. While viewing the Vanos camshift angle, I raise and lower the engine pan. Camshift angle now shows a change in degree. This indicates a normal condition. That concludes our testing. I hope you find this helpful next time you come across a camshaft position sensor fault code. Feedback or questions? Visit our online tech forums or our online technical library at bentleypublishers.com.